Knowing your limit and river regulations could be the difference between a good day on the water and a hefty fine. You don't want that. Jordan Rodenberger updates us now on fishing regulations in this week's Fishing Report. We are waders deep into the fishing season, but as fluid as the fresh Alaskan waters flowing with fish, so are the fishing regulations. On the popular and productive Upper Kenai, sockeye salmon fishing has slowed down, and after Friday, July 14th, bag limits will revert to general regulations to three per day and six in possession. But the Kenai River dip net fishery opened July 10th while anglers continue to test their luck on the Kasilaf, where the combined annual limit is five hatchery-produced king salmon 20 inches or longer. In Anchorage, portions of Campbell Creek is open to coho salmon fishing as of July 14th, though it is expected to start slow. But say so long to those Ship Creek Kings as they may no longer be retained, but the easily accessible fishery is open to all other species 24 hours a day. Bird Creek, up to 500 yards upstream, is officially open for all species except kings. In the Matsu, lakes are stocked, and the Aklutna Tail Race is the only area open to king harvest in the northern Cook Inlet. The Susitna Personal Use Dip Net Fishery opened Wednesday, July 12th on the lower Susitna, running from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturdays and Wednesdays through July 31st. Prince William Sound, trout is open to retention with a bag and possession limit of two fish, while Dolly Varden and Arctic Char fishing is open year-round with bag and possession limits of 10 fish. Halibut fishing has been reported as fair to good, with some huge halibut being hauled in from Valdez in their annual halibut derby. Lingcott season is open, while rockfish limits have been reduced to three per day and six in possession. And the Alaska Department of Fish and Game put out a reminder that illegally dumped fish waste can not only draw bears, but draw fines for violators, as discarding fish waste on public or private property or along roads, pull-offs, and trails can result in fines ranging from $300 to $1,000. Details on that, plus all emergency orders, liberalizations, and restrictions can be found at adfg.alaska.gov.